Hi there, it's Dee here, the review fella, with another video on how to get the very best from your Samsung TV, in particular the best picture settings for the 2021 range of Neo QLED TVs. These TV model names end with the letter A. If you have a Samsung TV model from a different year, check out the description of this video where you'll probably find the one you're looking for. So let's get right into it. In 2021, Samsung brought in some major game-changing improvements with their Neo QLED panels. Neo QLED is Samsung's name for Mini LED. Mini LED technology promises to bridge the gap between what some see as the difference between QLED and OLED, with OLED usually winning in the picture quality race. We should be seeing far better contrast ratio and much less backlight bleeding. You know that annoying issue where bright areas, even subtitles, have what looks like a halo around them? This should be drastically reduced, but perhaps not eradicated with Neo QLED. With the new 2021 models, the Tizen interface has improved responsiveness over previous models. The menu options really do seem to zip along. I didn't find the older models particularly slow, but there is a measurable speed boost here. The general options, including the look and feel, hasn't changed much since last year's model. You can stream content through your favourite apps, such as Netflix or Disney+, Plus, using the ribbon that runs across the bottom of the screen. If the app you're looking for isn't installed by default, then check out the App Store where you'll most likely find it. You can use voice control by selecting the mic button on the remote control. Use this for speed by saying something like open Netflix. It'll save you several button presses. Picture settings I'm going to discuss are based on my personal preferences. I don't use professional calibration tools as I'm not interested in making the content look like the creator intended. I'm an ex-professional photographer, so I like to think that I have an eye for image, colour and detail. The TVs I tested were the QN85A and the QN90A, but these settings should be good for most of the 2021 A-series Neo QLEDs. I'm looking for the best settings for mixed content such as movies and TV shows through my cable TV subscription with occasional sports viewing. Also streaming content via apps such as YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Apple TV and Rakuten. I'll also be gaming at the weekend on my PlayStation 5 and very rarely watching content on Blu-ray discs. For me, just like in my previous Samsung TV videos, most of the default settings work very well, straight out of the box. In fact, for many people, leaving it just as it is should work fine. Samsung do a great job of a default, well-balanced picture. For the picture mode settings, there are only two settings to consider. For me, I still think standard gives the best all-round balance for mixed content. You'll find many people recommending movie mode. This will give that cinema look to content you watch. It more accurately reflects the lighting and colour grading of movies and is best experienced in a dark room. My TV sits in the corner of a well-lit room which is backlit by a large window and I watch a lot of mixed content so standard works best for me. Here are my preferences and I'll run through them one by one. If I've not mentioned it here, I've left it as default as it comes out of the box. Some of these settings may already be set as default depending on the model and your region. Firstly, picture clarity settings. This used to be called Auto Motion Plus. It's supposed to smooth the judder out of fast moving images. It may work well for live sports, although I've never used this option myself. It looks terrible for movies which are mostly shot at 24 frames per second. You risk the awful soap opera effect so I recommend this is turned off. Next is local dimming. This setting controls the brightness of individual areas on the screen to automatically maximise contrast. It works very well for movies and mixed content. You may experience annoying light blooming around bright objects such as subtitles, so if that is noticeable and it bothers you, you can adjust this feature. For me, I set this too high. Next is contrast enhancer. This is a picture processing algorithm designed to prevent excessive light and dark areas on screen. This works really well in my opinion and I have this set too high. Next is Gamma. Gamma can be a matter of taste, so feel free to try them all and see which you prefer. I find 2.2 to be the most accurate, balanced and pleasing. It's also the setting recommended by professional calibrators. Next is Colour Space Setting. This refers to the range of colour that the TV supports. You can experiment with this to see which you prefer, but I prefer this set to Native. Next is Game Mode. This lets the TV bypass some picture processing. It may reduce lag, but it may also alter picture quality. I have this set to Auto so that my TV auto switches do game mode when I turn on my gaming console. Next is brightness optimization. I'm a big fan of this setting and it works really well for me. It saves me having to constantly adjust the brightness of the screen. A light sensor built into the TV will brighten or darken the screen based on the room's light level. This is done slowly and subtly so there are no sudden noticeable changes. Samsung have this spot on in my opinion so I have this set to on but not all rooms are the same so you can alter this setting if you wish. Lastly is usage mode. If your TV is an X-Demo model the store may 
might have set this to retail mode. This setting pushes all the levels up to help the TV compete with other TVs in the store and the store's lighting overhead. For home viewing, make sure this is set to home mode. So those are my preferred settings and they'll work very well for most of Samsung's 2021 Neo QLED range. But as always, tweak your TV to your own taste. One more thing that may help you with image quality, if you find your TV reflecting like a mirror and the image quality not as good as expected, check you haven't left a factory fitted screen protector on. Not every TV has one, but some do. I've made a video about this and I'll leave a link in the description below should this interest you. So in summary, Samsung do a great job right out of the box for all their 2021 Neo QLED range. My tweaks are fairly minimal and to my personal taste, but I believe they are the most pleasing for mixed content. However, the biggest impact I find on picture quality is setting the screen brightness right, and brightness optimization does a great job of that in my opinion. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask and I'll try my best to help. In the description, you'll find links to the TVs I tested, some other useful videos, and some of my other gear. I'll also post any significant updates based on your feedback, so be sure to check out the description. If you found this video interesting or helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps my small channel a lot if you do. Please also consider subscribing for future TV and tech reviews. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'm very grateful if you made it this far. Your support is very much appreciated. Please stay safe and I hope to catch you soon.